I'm 10 News Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari with your latest 8 a.m. Tropics update. This is in from the National Hurricane Center, still watching what is potential tropical cyclone number nine. This actually gives the National Hurricane Center the ability to start issuing watches and warnings. Several tropical storm watches and warnings already being issued for the northwestern portions of the Bahamas. Tropical storm watches being now added to much of the Florida East Coast as well. So this is something that we're still having to watch mainly for winds and so for some increasing rain chances as we go towards the weekend ahead maximum sustained wind speeds right now at 30 miles per hour. Once it reaches 39, gets to 40, that's when it's a tropical storm. And the next name on the list is Umberto. It continues to again move its way toward the northwest. That will happen through today and even going into the weekend ahead. But models are slowly trying to come into agreement now with keeping the bulk of the system to our east of the Tampa Bay area. This actually will help to put us on the more drier trend for your weekend plans as far as those rain chances are concerned. So we've actually been able to cut back on our local rain chances just a bit, but the Florida East Coast once again dealing with likely some rounds of heavy rainfall, tropical storm force winds in excess of 40 miles per hour will be likely and that could arrive as early as Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening through Sunday and then moving up towards the East Coast there back over water and kind of breaking apart gradually through next week as a tropical storm. This is again going to keep it as a weaker system here, all not only along the Florida East Coastline, but even locally with our falling rain chances. We actually have everything you need to know all on our website, WTSP.com.